this is Tomo Daphne. Welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye to Spare. It's been a while since I made one of these videos, so I don't entirely know what's going on. I also just got back from a nature hike about an hour ago. I have a little bit of a headache. I am dehydrated. So I'm just going to try my best for this video. Best trying begins now. What makes you think you have any right to question me? I'm not trying to question you, I was just... Are you saying I don't like the fact that I acted on my own without consulting you guys? Is there something wrong with that, huh? Are you gonna tie me up like Nagito? Look, I am not the one who tied you up for you, Hiko. Or Nagito. Uh, seriously, I didn't mean- is it so wrong to be curious? Don't talk to me ever again if you do, I swear I'll fucking kill you! We'll take that as a confession. That guy, he's gonna be dangerous if we leave him alone. I should let everyone know, but I should be careful not to make too much trouble. Uh, off to the restaurant again, I suppose. Why did why they put the pool right there? I mean, I, we could have built this, these hotel grounds so that I could walk over there in a straight line. Hotel lobby. Then go up the stairs. Hotel restaurant. Oh, hello, Mahiru. Oh, nice timing! I've been waiting for anybody to come at a time like this. Waiting, huh? Hey. Um, I was thinking about delivering this. Is this someone's breakfast? No, it's someone's lunch. Yes, it's someone's breakfast. Ah, is that for Nagito? <laughs> I mean, if we just leave him all tied up, he's gonna starve, and I'm not gonna be responsible for someone's death. You saw what happened to Teru Teru. Like, how long are they planning to continue this? Are they giving him sunlight? Are they giving him fresh air? Well, there's no way we can keep him tied up forever. Yeah, that's what I thought at first, but maybe it's better if he was tied up forever. And what does that mean? I actually went to see Nagito earlier. I kindly brought him breakfast. And then listen to this. He seriously pisses me off. He said he doesn't like rice, so he wanted toast instead. Doesn't he understand the situation he's in right now? Beggars can't be choosers, Hajime, and sometimes... So that's why you're running back and forth. That must be hard for you. Really? Hard? Do you think so? Why is it focusing all the way over there? Now you can see my face. They bring this to Nagito on my behalf. You're welcome. Huh? Forced to run back and forth too many times. I'm done being his maid. Not only that, I just remembered that I have a little business to take care of. Business? Thank you. So, thank you. I'll leave the rest to you. She shoves the tray in my hands and leaves. Mahira pushed the tray into my hands and ran away before I could object. I mean, I could eat this. Like, what is... Jeez, it's always something. As I recall, he's tied up at the old building where the murder took place, right? <laughs> Off we go. So I jump over the balcony. Just kidding, there are stairs. We go over to the... Oh, hey, Kazuichi. Goodbye, Kazuichi. Nagito's tied up in here, and I brought him breakfast. If I'm not allowed inside, then why is Nagito inside? He's what? Oh, what? You know about it too, Hajime? Because Nakamaru, Kazuichi, 
she earnestly told me that Monami is the only one we can rely on. And it's true that Nakito needs to reflect on his actions. I came here to deliver food to Nagito. It counts as murder if he ends up starving to death, right? Sorry! It's okay to go inside then? Yes! Make sure to tell him to chew thoroughly before he swallows. Goodbye! Okay, now, where could he possibly be tied up? Whole oh, building full of rooms to check. So, Nagito's tied up at the back. Instinctively, I gulp back my dried saliva. Why am I so nervous? Pushing aside my nervous tension, I vigorously open the door to the dining hall. As I quietly peeked through the door, I saw him on the other side. He was waiting for me with a big smile on his face. Hello, Hajime. Could it be? Did you take time out of your busy day to bring some food to little old me? Shut up and take your breakfast. Wow, I'm so happy. I put the tray on the floor in front of his face and I can't exactly greet you with my full hospitality, but feel free to relax. Uh, he was the same, as usual. Unlike his smile, his words carried a certain heaviness. It's if a black poison was falling from his mouth every time he spoke, filling his surroundings with darkness. An illusion, but one I couldn't help feeling at that moment. Huh? What happened? Your face looks kind of scared. Your face looks kind of scared. I didn't come here to talk to you. I just come to bring you something. I put the tray on the floor and nudge it towards his mouth. No! As you can see, I'm a little tied up at the moment. <laughs> Oh, I get it, friggin' Mahiru! That must be why she asked me to go instead of her. You know, when I find her, I'm going to give her peace of my mind, I swear to God. Anyway, what happened to Mahiru? She leaves saying she had some business to take care of? I don't know that. By the way, I heard about Twilight Syndrome murder case, was it? You weren't supposed to know about that. I have mixed feelings. I really like that game a lot. Don't change the subject. I'm asking you. I can change the subject however many times I want, and you can't stop me. Threat that's standing right in front of you. So are you really planning not to play the game? Do you think Monokuma will just let that slide? Does Monokuma have a plan B for if no one plays the game? That is. Or is it just gonna be like, well, shit? Confronted. I'm gonna back out of the room now. He almost sounds reasonable. Running away from your problems isn't a solution. I'm just putting it off. But... Goodbye. Uh, hey, Hajime, weren't you planning to feed me? I was never planning to feed you! Use your mouth, asshole! I never did find Mahiru. I, damn it, I barely talked to him and I'm already not feeling so well. <sighs> but I really can't stop thinking about it. Is it really okay to leave that game alone? While I'm doing nothing about it, someone else is. 
No, nothing good can come from thinking about it. Goodbye. I am going to sleep now. Please leave a message at the beep. Ding dong, bing bong. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. <sighs> On any other night, I'd probably just go to sleep. But I can't stop thinking about that game. It's not like I believe what Nagito said. It's just not a good idea to leave it alone. Twilight Syndrome murder case, huh? I should give it a try. Just a little. To see how it is. Can't possibly be that bad. And sure, I might get the killing sleeper agent signal transported into my head, but you know what? That's a risk I'm willing to take. Jabberwock Park. There it is. So here I am. If the game turns out to be dangerous, I'll just stop playing it. I'll be like, nope, sorry, I'll leave it for the next fool. So I should just go for it. I guess for now, I should try playing it a little. I cautiously stood in front of the arcade game. Damn it, where are my quarters? And the screen automatically lit up. Okay, good, I don't need quarters. So I face the screen, I put my hand on the joystick. Monokuma Soft Lenses by Monokuma Incorporated. Warning, this game is a work of non-fiction. Any resemblance to real persons living or dead is purely intentional. I think you got that disclaimer a little wrong there. This game has a strange old-fashioned vibe to it. As if it were released on PC in the 90s. I wonder, is the person who's controlling Monokuma actually pretty old? Well, I should try to start it up. Press start. Where is the button? Second day. Wow, I already hate this game. Ah, it's already late. I'm gonna be late for our meeting. Everyone's waiting. I gotta hurry and go. If I'm late, everyone's gonna hate me. Um, they're waiting in classroom 1A. Oh my god, this walking speed is so slow. People can't possibly walk this all in real life. Is this like... Is this like Resident Evil where they intentionally give you tank controls to make it harder to run away from the bad guy? Man, you're finally here! You're so late! What were you doing? I'm sorry. If you're angry, I'm sorry. Um, don't be mad. We're not angry. Let's hurry up and get over here. Okay. I should go talk to Girl B for now. I take a few steps forward. Um, we're here because you had something important to say, right? What's this about? Obviously, it's about yesterday's incident. Hey, you already saw the newspaper, right? Yeah. Huh? What newspaper? God, you're such a slowpoke, girl aides, in today's evening newspaper. Uh, let me run forward my impossibly slow running speed. This one, here you go. Just read it. July 8th, at around 6 a.m., a janitor from XX Academy came to work. 
Good thing it's not XXX Academy, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and discovered the body of a female high school student in the music room on the second floor. The student had been struck forcefully in the head with a blunt object and was already dead. Seems the killer broke a window to escape. Based on the details of the crime, authorities say... The investigation is ongoing and believes someone may have snuck into the school to commit the act. <sighs> I was a little surprised. I never expected it would make the newspaper. Says someone may have snuck into the school, so they might be thinking that a pervert did it. It is the only lead they have. I mean, her school swimsuit did get stolen, too. That sick, twisted bastard! Sneaking into a school to steal a swimsuit, killing a nearby girl, and escaping out the window. Kya! We are all in danger too! But is this really okay? We were the first ones to discover the body, and we kept it a secret. It would have been the same no matter who found the body first. Don't worry about it. It's not like we have anything to hide anyway. It's not like we killed her and are trying to cover up the evidence. That's right, all we did was find a body and not report it. That's not really a crime. But still, can we be charged with criminal negligence or something? I know you're a masochist, but there's no way I'm going to get involved in this. I'm finally a student at this academy. There's no way I'm getting expelled over something like a dead body. Right? Isn't that right, girl D? I'm over here, dipshit. Yeah, I agree, but... What's up? You don't seem so sure. Um, I actually have something to, discu to discuss with you guys. Girl D, I wonder what's going on. What does she want to talk about? To be honest, I ended up taking several photos of her yesterday. Are you talking about her body? I thought we might get questioned by the police, so I thought I should take them, just in case. Where are those photos now? I have them right here. What? I don't want to look at them. We're definitely going to get cursed. Cursed? Yeah, it's the curse of neglecting to report a body. Stupid curses aren't even real. You seriously need to throw away those photos. Give them to me. Ah, uh, hey! That is obstruction of justice, my girl! This is bad! If you rip it like that, the curse... I just said curses don't exist. The only curse we have now is the curse of the cops coming up after us for destroying evidence. It's better to just rip these photos to shreds and throw them into the incinerator. Girl D, if you have any digital copies, you need to erase those too. Okay. Hey, girl E, what happened? Why do you sound so desperate? It's not like you killed her and are trying to get rid of the evidence. Never mind, let's just forget about the whole incident. If the cops say anything, just say, I don't know. We had nothing to do with it, and we weren't the first ones to discover the body. Okay, the end. And then the game ended. It was very boring. Seriously, let's just go home already. Come on, it's getting late. Now, fourth day. 
Ah, oh, it's another day at school. Man, it's already late. The hardest part of being in the archery club is changing clothes. Everyone's probably gone back by now. Then I guess I have to go back on my own. I think this is around the time that incident occurred too. You know, the one we agreed not to talk about? Ah, jeez, why am I thinking about something so stupid again? That's right, I just gotta hurry up and forget about that incident. It's been two days since the murder. The cops still haven't come for us. That's a good sign. I won't let you forget. Huh? I won't let you forget. Oh, who's there? Who, where are you? Ah, man. Girl, see, it was right. There is a curse. I won't let you forget. I won't let you forget. I won't let you forget. Forgive me, strange disembodied voice of the hallway. Is, is the school haunted? Forgive me. Ah. Never. Never, 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 never. I lost count of how many nevers. I will never forgive you. Obviously, we're missing a few details here. Ah, girl, A! Well, what happened? Did something happen? This is bad. This is really bad. Ag! Ag! Her head is split open like that one time. It's probably the curse! It's the curse! It's all the curse's fault because of the curse, girl E! What happened to girl E? Take a look in there, classroom 1B. Alright, freaking make me have to go back with the slow ass walking speed! Clatter, clatter, clatter. Someone put a desk up against the door? Well, it finally... In. Game over, what? I barely even got a chance to play! Where's, where's the internet activity? Where's, where's the influence on the story that I get to exercise as a player of the video game? I didn't get to, it was just a, it was just a bunch of cutscenes. Wait, now it's game over for some reason. I don't get it. Even the game's structure doesn't make sense. Chiaki was right. This game sucks. Got started with the second day and all of a sudden jumped to the fourth day afterward. Why were the first day and the third day skipped? Again, some pretty crucial details were left out. What's with this down five message on the game over screen? Probably some Easter egg. I could take it to Chiaki. She knows things about games. Down five. Who's down by five? What is this, a baseball game? What the heck is this? I don't get this at all. How how would this be the motive? You, you know what, Monokuma, give me some answers. Is this what it's like to play a crappy game? For now, it's a waste of time to just, just stay here, so I should go back to my cottage and think about it. It's getting late. I should probably sleep, but I probably won't, because... No one's getting sleep on the murder island. I went back to my cottage feeling hazy and disoriented as I tried to think about why I felt so strange. It's probably the fatigue. I've been going a long time without sleeping. Monica the Theater, welcome back, baby. Life isn't just about moving forward. When confronted by an important question, it's good to stop moving and take your time thinking about it. For example, my stomach hasn't felt well all morning, so I ran to the restroom as soon as I got off the train. But right when I felt that I was about to enter, an important question stood before me. Life is like that every now and then, suddenly an important question gets in your way. The important question was this, that stood before me was the gentleman sign on the restroom door. 
Should I go to the gentleman's room or the ladies' room just to really freak them out? They resisted the overwhelming urge to poop, but I thought about it desperately. Am I really a gentleman? Do I have class? Am I honest and faithful? No, why am I even hesitating? Of course I'm a gentleman. A regular person wouldn't last five minutes resisting this urge to poop, but a gentleman most certainly would. Any, <clears throat> any other normal citizen would have shed their pants by now. Filled with pride, I ran into the restroom, went for gentlemen, and what awaited me was. Another important question. <gasps> the important question that stood me before the stood before me was the Western style and Japanese style signs on each door. I was definitely born in Japan, but I haven't forgotten what makes clean, beautiful Japan so good. Do I have enough confidence in myself to take a Japanese style poop? As you can see, there are always important questions waiting for you. That's what life is all about. I will never tell you about which toilet I actually used. You'll have to just theorize about that on YouTube. Ding dong, bing bong. that guy. Morning, huh? In the end, that game is still a mystery. I don't know why it would be a motive. I'm not feeling any inexplicable urge to kill. I should just bite the bullet and try discussing it with everyone. And everybody's gonna be like, shut up, Hajime! And I'm gonna be like, no, just hear me out. I guess I should head over to the restaurant. Ah, oh, the wonderful restaurant that I once again have to walk around the pool to get to. If I could have any one power that Jesus had, we'd be walking on water so I can get to this hotel faster. Alright. Upstairs. Oh, hey, Chiaki. I was just wanted to tell you you're right. That game sucked. Hotel. Well, hello, everyone. Good day. Good morning, Hajime. Yeah, good morning. After greeting everyone, I put some food on my plate that Akane hadn't eaten first and sat myself at a table near the window where nobody could talk to me ever. Except for Akane who wanted my food. What is it, Hajime? Is that all you're gonna eat? You just eat too much, Akane. Do you realize how many calories I have to eat to keep this bot up? You're one to talk, all you eat is candy. Why? Just because it's candy doesn't mean you should make fun of it. These gummies have four different fruit flavors, so I'm sure they're full of nutrients. Like, you should just eat real fruit. That said, that's where I'm going to end the video. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to blast that patriarchy, smash that like button, just eat real fruit, and I will see you next week with another episode of, well, actually this Friday, or whenever. I'll see you next time, with more Danganronpa 2. Goodbye.